Subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and never miss an update from Latestly. Santosh Kaur was married for only 15 days when her husband suddenly left for the United States, leaving her behind. Seven years have passed since their wedding, but there is no sign of him. She now lives with her elderly mother and two siblings in the town of Ludhiana in Punjab state. Santosh remembers her wedding ceremony, which cost the family 20,000 euros, including the dowry. To raise enough money, her parents mortgaged their house. Santosh is struggling to pay back the loan. She now suffers from a heart condition. My whole family went into depression, but we didn't show it to one another. All of us used to cry, and nobody cared for me and asked me how I felt. People used to make fun of me by asking, when is your husband coming back, and when are you going with him? In the hope of getting justice, she regularly meets a lawyer to discuss the progress of her case. <laughs> but she feels frustrated and helpless. Santosh's case is not an isolated one. There are more than 40,000 women across India who are duped into marrying Indian men living overseas. But the northern state of Punjab is the epicenter of abandoned brides in India. Satvinder Kaur runs a local NGO called Abnahi Social Welfare that assists these women by providing them legal and financial support. Satvinder's own husband left her in 2015. Today, Satvinder is traveling with her team to visit the house of another woman. They listen to her and start documenting her story. After hearing her for an hour, the team checks her documents and is preparing a legal case. Our NGO has seen an increase in the number of abandonment cases and we get calls every day from different states. The government is not helping these women. If they were helping, we wouldn't see these women running around with their elderly parents in courts and police stations every day. To address this issue, the Punjab government has now set up the State Commission of Non-Resident Indians. Rakesh Garag, who formerly headed this commission, says that Legal challenges like a lack of extradition treaties with most countries make it difficult to get justice. In so many cases, passports have been revoked and suspended. India government is taking, even the state government is, uh, is taking uh, so many steps. But the question remains that the investigation so far is faulty. Back in Ludhiana, Santosh is angry over the delay in getting justice. She and thousands of other women are traumatized by the abrupt collapse of their marriages, plunging their lives into uncertainty and financial ruin, and what they see as the government's apathy.